Hey guys, this is Sugar Girl 34 and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a 3D pop-up book or pop-up card. This was a pop-up book I made at school for an art summative and I got 100 on it, which is really good. It's supposed to be a um, very old cuisine or restaurant kind of thing. So here's the first page. It's a um, two-floor restaurant. And as you can see, um, this is really complicated. Like, this was a summative, so I worked, I had to make it complicated, but, yeah. This is going to take more practice and more work, but I'll show you guys the basic technique of how to do this. So the very basic, here's the menu, it's not pop-up. And the last page is pop-up. It's a dining little place. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the simple version of this. And I learned how to make these when I was in grade 4. So it shouldn't be that hard for you guys. But this is what I made in class in grade 4. That uses the same pop-up technique. It's a Mother's Day card. And keep in mind that I made this in grade 4, so it's not very good. But I used this technique to make this. So, yeah. I'll show you guys the basic technique, and you can expand yourself on how to do more complicated things with it. That's what I did. And you can just keep experimenting. So, I'm just going to take a rough piece of paper, and I'm going to fold it in half, cut two lines that are the same in length, okay, like that, and this, and the length that you cut determines the height and the depth of it, so basically it determines the volume of the box. Okay, now you're going to fold this over to make a crease here, fold it back again, you're going to open your piece of paper up. You're going to pop this forward and see where the crease is. You want to just fold where the crease is backwards. Okay? And then you want to close the whole thing up so that what you cut is now inverted inside. Okay, now when you open it up, there's a little pop up box here. That's a basic technique, like, let's say you're making a card, and maybe you can, let me demonstrate. Okay, so I cut out this little thing here, and let's say this is a little, I don't know, it's very rough, but you can glue it on, you can glue it on, on the box so that when you open it, there's a little, and you can have, write a little message there, or draw something, I don't know. You can do things like that, but if you want to add another box on top of this, I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, you want to close it up, and if you want a box up here, you're going to cut right here. Okay, we're going to make a very small box here, so here, I'll show you guys. You could cut the same length. It's important that you cut the same length for both. And there. See, I just cut this little flap off that box we originally, or we originally had. And you're going to fold it over like that again to make a crease. Fold it over again. And we're going to do the same as we did with the big box. We're going to flip this over here crease and then fold it back. See? So now when you open it, you have two little boxes stacked on top of each other. And you can do more. Okay, if you want a box in front of this big box, like let's say another box right here sticking out, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's basically the same thing as what you did up here, except you're cutting it on the other side. So, okay, I'm going to cut, and another cut, you're going to fold 
this back to make a crease, fold it the other way, and then you're going to open the whole thing up, pop this out, and see that crease, you're going to pinch it, and you're going to close the whole thing up like that. Okay, so now that when you open it, you have something that looks like that. And be creative with this. You can make so many things with this. Um, that's the basic, um, basic technique that I use to make my restaurant. And, okay, now I'm going to tell you guys this. As you can see, the boxes, um, their height and depth are the same. And if you want to make it different, I'll show you how to do that now. For example, what I mean by different heights is that, see my stairs here? They're not a box. They're not like the same height. See, the, how, see how the depth of it is much more than the height. The height is like that little and the depth is like that much. If you want to know how to do that, I'll show you right now. So basically, you first cut how high you want it. So let's say you want it maybe that high. So we're just going to cut that much. So a bit high. Okay. Now, um, you want to cut how deep you want it to be um, on one side. So let's say you want it that deep. We're going to cut that deep on one side of it. So let me cut that much. And I'm sorry guys if this is really confusing or anything. It'll take a while. Okay. Now we're gonna make a crease here where we cut and a crease here. So Gonna crease. This might be a bit difficult. Okay, see how the cuts here? We're gonna crease that to make it pop up, and then we're going to crease this as well. See? Now that we crease it, you see that it's like round, and you want it. You want it to be like a rectangle, so you want to crease it here, but to make it accurate, you're going to close the whole thing up and squeeze, 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 okay, close, 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 and you're going to squeeze it and close it up really precisely, and that's going to make a crease there. And when you open it up again, ta-da, there it is, okay? There's a little box. And to do the stairs that I did, you can just keep on adding little boxes like I did there. Like keep on adding boxes on top. And it does take practice. I mean, this took me maybe a couple weeks to do. And our teacher didn't teach us this or anything. I thought of this um, on my own using the technique I learned six years ago. I hope that I did an okay job at explaining